Bonjour, brought to you by Safaricom, a proud sponsor of Team Kenya at the Olympics. So of course we are here at the Intercontinental, a slightly different environment for the show. Bonjour, thank you so much for joining us for another edition of the show, Mr. Elias. It's been a very, very busy evening, of course, in terms of Team Kenya, celebrating them, honoring them. They were hosted by the embassy as well as senior government officials. Of course, it was something just to give them motivation as the Olympics start officially on Friday with the opening ceremony. Yeah, I mean, the final moments to unwind because uh, now in the village where uh, it's very restricted, you know, the just training, going in, sleeping, and uh, so it's, it's a good change of environment, environment before the um, official opening ceremony, and then now it will be getting into that zone of uh, competition. So it's a good break, a good gesture by the uh, the embassy here, um, you know, led by Ambassador uh, Betty Cherwon and the National Olympic Committee and the national government. Yeah, indeed, of course, uh, we had senior government officials, we also had some members of the corporate organization as well, uh, of course, representatives of the Kenya Tourist Board. Of course, they had a lot of promises, they said, in terms of just appreciating the athletes. But I think it was very special just seeing uh, the Kenyan athletes in a different context outside of the Olympics village. Yeah, I mean, and uh, having good dinner, meeting their fans, members from uh, the Kenyan, Kenyan diaspora who are living uh, in France. I uh, joined them also, uh, members from uh, Miramas, led by the Deputy Mayor, where Team Kenya has been camping, uh, the pre-Olympic camp in the city of Miramas in southern France. So, a really good evening, right uh, next to the Champs-Élysées. You know, the reason why really we are all meeting today is to celebrate you and um, you know just to tell you that we are here to support you so today is indeed a very exciting day to have all the Kenyans that we have here and all our friends all our support team uh, as we go into the Olympics although you know some sports have begun uh, we watched rugby I watched Maria swim amazing you know it's really exciting to be able to watch what you know our athletes go through what our sports people go through how it is how they put so much and they're putting all that effort not just for themselves for the country you know i keep on saying that um, you are our true ambassadors you are the representatives of kenya you are the ones who fly our flag high on the Nafumbo kenya house the day after tomorrow and uh, from the 10th, uh, 10, um, 10 a, 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., it's a powazi. Kudem jione, kudem race. You'll actually race with the Kina Faith, the legends. Muna kuja ku race. Na yuli ya mtuwa nashinda, kuna gift up with you. Sindio? So, there are many things you can do there. You network. You come and feel at home. Ugali yuko, kuma inapikwa. You feel at home. Musikute tu kufikiri ya tu, ya ni, tumekute inchi ingine na you're not feeling at home, mutafila at home kibuta Kenya House. Sean's Elise ideally of course is one of the areas that is an, is a, is an idyllic tourist uh, site because a lot of people are usually frequent in this area and obviously because of the, the opening ceremony there will be a lot of restrictions uh, Mr. Elias in regards to movement, in regards to how people are able to access certain areas and understandably so because you can only imagine more than a hundred heads of states uh, from different national, na nations are going to be congregating in Paris for the opening ceremony. Exactly, I mean it's extraordinary because this is the first time in the history of the Olympics that an opening ceremony is not being held in a closed stadium which is easier to secure it's being held virtually across uh, the beautiful city of Paris 150 kilometers around Paris will be locked it's a no-fly zone and there'll be helicopters and uh, you know drone um, detectors all sorts of security uh, arrangements have been put in place to make sure that the opening ceremony is safe and exciting indeed safe and exciting that is the overall theme now it's important to understand that yes the Olympics opening ceremony is the official start of the Olympics but the games actually started with rugby sevens well it's been an outing uh, a, a difficult outing for the national rugby sevens team uh, well they competed in the different uh, levels in terms of uh, qualifying for the 9 and 12 uh, but at least they got a win and it's been a very very tough outing for them at the Olympic Games and I think it's more about learning for the national rugby sevens team yeah it's about learning uh, lost their first three games of course to Argentina Australia and Samoa and then now into the playoffs and they managed to beat uh, Uruguay in uh, extra time. You know, Patrick Odongo scoring the try that made the difference. And now they play uh, for ninth and 10th places 
uh, on Saturday against um, they are playing Samoa again, a second bite of the cherry. That's so interesting. It's, a, it's a good opportunity for them to leave the tournament on a high. Absolutely, finishing on high, that is the key, key, key uh, target for the National Rugby Sevens team. Remember, the Olympic Games begin on Friday until the 11th of August. Of course, uh, the other Kenyan athletes are expected in the course of the following uh, few days because Elias, we have the volleyball team that are already in town, we have the swimmers already in town, we have uh, the judoka, I believe she's also in yeah. town, if I'm not Zeddy, wrong. Zeddy is, uh, yes. Zeddy, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, the fencer is also here in town, Alexandra and Dolo. Their competition, of course, will be kicking off in the next few days. And, and speaking of the opening ceremony, it's also important to appreciate the fact that a lot of focus has been on the flag bearers. Uh, Kenya's flag bearers will be two very, very unique individuals. Uh, it will be Teresa Tuka, of course, she's making her debut for the first time at the Olympics. We have Fadi Nomanyala, who is taking a second bite of the cherry, yeah. as we'd say it, in terms of competing at the Olympics. But the big talking point as well has been the responsibility that is bestowed on athletes, carrying your flag in front of billions. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than that. There is an estimated television audience of uh, about three billion who's going to, who are going to watch uh, the opening ceremony live. Basically, almost half of the world's population. And you know, for Ferdinand and Teresa to get this opportunity, the cameras will be on them. They'll be trained on them uh, for that moment when the Kenyan ship sails on the river scene. You have this huge responsibility. You're going to carry the Kenyan flag. Huh? How how were you informed? How was it? How did the process? What how's the process done? Uh, actually, I was uh, I was notified at the airport. Were in my sales. We were about to board and come to Paris from Miramas, and then they told me the news. Of course, it was so exciting. I like the words because I didn't see it coming. Because it's a it's a stage that has been shared by very famous people, of course. And to be given this opportunity, considering that for myself, it is my debut at the Olympics because the past Olympic in Tokyo, I didn't make it due to an injury. So it was my dream that I'd be able to play at the Olympics. And then this opportunity comes. For me, it's just um, it's the ultimate honor to be there and to share that stage with, of course, Fedi Omanyala. And to just walk there, millions of people watching, of course our families back at home, carrying the flag of Kenya, representing our country, ourselves, our family. It was just, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, how did your family feel about you carrying, this, carrying the flag? My family, everyone is so excited, they are happy. Uh, they, they, they say this is something we've been watching since we were born. People during the opening ceremony, myself too, uh, we've always watched it. They can't believe they'll be watching their own. The opening ceremony will be each team sailing on a ship, on a boat rather, and we know with the flag, LeBron James and uh, Coco Gauff uh, carrying the US flag. It's a huge, huge uh, honor and privilege. Indeed, huge honor and privilege. And for the, the other athletes who will be supporting the individual flag bearers, for them it's very, very special, especially for the United States. Honestly, flag barrier was one of those things I just never thought would happen, especially, you know, even though tennis is like an Olympic sport, but, you know, it's not maybe the most popular sport for the Olympics, so I just didn't think that was even a possibility. So I think she would just be really surprised and in, in doing it uh, alongside one of her idols like LeBron is... I don't know. I've watched so many Heat games on TV in person. I've I've seen him in person a couple times. I've never met him, but uh, I think I, I would like to say I've met him. <laughs> Being a flag bearer, like I know he started his Team USA journey back in '04, so it's been 20 years, um, and just the body of work has been awesome. Um, so to be a part of that nomination and then it actually come through and have that acknowledgement with the team um, to kind of let him know he got it. It was, it was special. It was cool. And for all of us to understand, like KD said, the moment, uh, this is that's another piece of like symbolism of what we're trying to do here. So I was happy to be a part of that announcement with him. And again, it's the respect that we all have for each other and uh, what we've been able to accomplish. See, Elias, we've been using public transport here in, uh, in, in Paris, and I can tell you for a fact, it's so elaborate, it's so intricate. 
you move from one point to the next and you can you, you know for us we've been here for for different amounts of time i've been here for about uh, a week and you've been here for about three weeks yeah. but it just tells you how important it is to have a transportation system that is able to facilitate movement of people and again i mean uh, the olympic system there is a dedicated lane for the olympic uh, entourage uh, you know when there's a traffic jam there's one lane open for emergency vehicles and for ioc cars which means uh, teams will not get stuck in traffic and that's one of the conditions for a host city you need to set aside an olympic lane to make sure that the olympians have a smooth uh, you know movement around and not to affect the program it's really elaborate uh, and i like uh, you know moving from point a to point b on the trains so the subway the buses the taxis are a bit too expensive and again yes ill advice because most of the roads have been closed so you get yourself going around all over the place indeed the trains is one of the most uh, practical means of moving from one point to the next because it's quite as i said an elaborate intricate system connects you from different parts of the isle of paris that's what they're calling it, the ill or rather ill of paris it's very 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 orderly and very very structured to ensure that you move from one point from point c to d point e to to f uh, seamlessly and they keep time they have to ensure that uh, that all, the movement of all these people is very very structured yeah, and again, when, uh, if you miss your train, of course, the directions are very clear. Yeah. But if you miss your train and uh, you're going to Thika, you'll find yourself in Gidurai. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. It's, it's, it's interesting. But another thing that we've realized when it comes to this movement is the fact that safety is very central, security is very key. If you notice inside the trains, a lot of people are very, very cautious in terms of whatever they're carrying on them. For myself, I've been warned more than once that when I'm carrying my, 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 my of course, my, 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 my bag, my anything that I'm carrying with me, I have to be very keen, I have to look around me because of issues of, uh, of safety and security. Unfortunately, there's some unsavory characters who take advantage of yeah. such major challenges. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been telling us, be careful. Uh, some journalist uh, was really crying in the media center today. He lost his wallet, which had some money. But, you know, you advise to use, uh, you know, the card, plastic money. And it's good that we have a person in Kenya. You can transfer your money. Yes, yes, you yes, don't yes, need yes. To, you know, walk around Actually, I've been cash. paying some of my bills uh, yeah, it's, it's by that platform. It's really working here. Yeah. Very, very, very practical in terms of ensuring that you're able to still be able to uh, have a level of control of what is going on back home in Kenya. I'm sure for the athletes as well. And any Kenyan who is, of course, here in, in Paris, that is definitely very important. And then, of course, it just brings us back to that other element of being one. Uh, because the overall, overall theme about uh, uh, the, the Olympics from a Kenyan perspective is being one. Being is, is a hero. It's somebody who, who, is, who, who, who leads and sometimes follows. Because it also in, it introduces an aspect of servant leadership. Exactly. I mean, you don't have to be a gold medalist to be a bingwa. It could be the physio. We have a very good team of, uh, you know, physios, the backroom staff, uh, the doctors, and, uh, you know, the caterers. We have special mm -hmm. catering for Team Kenya. A few Kenyans here got themselves together and um, have been doing catering under the Kenya House, which opens uh, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We love Kenyan cuisine. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, these are the heroes and heroines who really work behind the scenes to make sure that uh, our Kenyans get onto the podium. The word pingwa kwangu, uh, it's something which is important sana. Uh, the pingwa wangu ni Helio Kipchak. I think kuwa pingwa ni china kubwa sana. Uh, pingwa because uta, kuwa una unarekonaisiwa when you step everywhere. Kwa kwangu pingwa ni mtuli ya namuka kila siku akiona kwamba lazima afanye kitu vizuri kuliko vile alikuwa amefanya uh, wiki iliyopita ama siku iliyopita mtuli anaamka na anajua kwamba amepata nafasi tena kufanya mambo vizuri uh, katika wa, watu wengi wale naona ni mabingwa watu wale na, naweza kusema ni mmoja kwa, kwa wachezaji ni Patrick Odongo Patrick Odongo alienda akacheza Olympic akiwa amepoteza mama mzazi na akasema kwa sababu baba mzazi alikuwa amemlea akakuwa mtu mzuri kabisa ataenda kumchezea na kiwa hapa akasaidia timu yetu ya shujaa to qualify for Olympics. Bonjour, brought to you by Safaricom, a proud sponsor of Team Kenya at the Olympics.